everyone and welcome to my new channel Science Done Well. I'm going to be doing some videos about science on this channel, so hopefully they'll be easy to understand and kind of interesting. Today I'm going to explain a bit about plate tectonics. Plate tectonics is part of geology, which is the study of what the earth is made up of, so like rocks and whatever. Plate tectonics is all about how the plates that make up the earth's crust move around. So, the earth is made up of lots of layers and the outer layer is called the lithosphere which includes its hard outer crust. The lithosphere isn't one solid shell though, it's made up of a number of different plates. Depending on who you ask, there's either seven or eight ma main plates, which roughly match up with the continents. These plates float about uh, on the layer below the lithosphere, which is called the asphenosphere, which is made of molten rock and flows kind of like a liquid. The plates don't really move very quickly though, some of them move as little as one centimetre a year, that's as fast as your fingernails grow. Even the ones that move fastest only move about 10 centimetres a year, that's how fast your hair grows. So, these plates meet at what are called plate boundaries. There are different types of boundaries depending on how the plates are moving. They might be coming together, moving apart, or grinding along against each other. When they move together, we get mountains and volcanoes forming. Most of the world's volcanoes are on plate boundaries. When they move apart, we get earthquakes and, or trenches forming, and when they grind against each other, we get more earthquakes. If you've heard of San Andreas Fault in California, there, where they get loads of earthquakes, that's caused by plates grinding against each other. So, because the plates are moving, that means the Earth's continents are moving. That's called continental drift. People have had ideas about this since the 16th century, or the 1500s, when they first noticed that the coastlines of South America and Africa looked very similar, like they could fit together. You can see that here, between South America and Africa. This made them think that the continents might once have been joined together, but they didn't really understand why they might have drifted apart. In the 20th century, scientists came up with more ideas about how the continents have moved over millions of years. In 1912, a German scientist first put forward the theory that all land on Earth had once been joined together as a supercontinent before drifting apart. He called it Pangaea, which comes from the ancient Greek words for all and Earth, because it was all the land on Earth. But pe a lot of people didn't take this theory seriously, and it wasn't until the 1950s that people accepted the idea and developed the science of plate tectonics, which was finally widely accepted in the 1960s. So there you go, the theory of plate tectonics. I hope you found it interesting, and maybe you learned something new. I'll see you in my next video, but until then, farewell!